Hi guys and welcome to Minecraft with Buddy 1927. This is episode 6 and I've actually started a new world. Um, I learned a little bit more about crafting buildings and stuff, making buildings and stuff like this. Um, as this area right here I'm clearing out and I'm going to make an area. I'm going to actually put a castle in this area. But this is my house I have built. I kind of like the way it looks, um, especially at nighttime. As look, look at the moon coming up. Um, I, I kind of, this is a nice big house. But I also built another building too. But this is my house. We'll take a tour of the house while we're here. And you can see what I've done so far and what you think about it. Did I do a good job? Let me know. Leave your comments down below. Um, Y'all can take a look, and I actually, it took me about five days just to build that house, once I figured out what I was doing. Um, I've been studying up. Um, that right there is actually entrance to one of my mine shafts. i got two mine shafts. That's my second mine shaft, um, which actually goes to my main mine shaft. This is um, one of the entrances to my main mine shaft. This is the main entrance to my main mine shaft, and as you can see, that's the third entrance to my main shaft. And you got a little Mr. Pig there guarding my mine shaft for me. Um, this is played in normal mode. This was not played in creative mode. This was actually played in normal mode, but in peaceful. So I can actually build this stuff. This is my storage area. So, this is actually a pretty big storage area. I have a ton of storage, and, I, and I'm kind of organized myself. Um, I was a manager for 18 years, and I always made sure my, so my stock room was nice, neat, and organized so you can find everything quite easily. And I've done that here. Um, the trunks go five high. There's seven across here, so that's 35, plus another 35, so I have a total of 70 trunks. Everything is signed here, so you know what's in the trunks. You take take the trunk on this side and go to the left, and you'll see I have well, I don't have no sand sand there, but you know I got sandstone here. Um, I got gravel here. Yeah, you know, this where you don't see a sign. These trunks are empty right now, so I can use them a little bit later. Um, I got granite, doronite, polished doronite, polished granite. I got gold. All right, as you can see, I've been kind of busy. I, I have one stack plus 30 plus half another stack. I got 31 diamonds. Plus, as you can see, I have um, three diamond tools: a uh, diamond sword and two diamond picks. And my one diamond pick is about shot. That's why I went ahead and made another one. So that's five. That's eight diamonds I used total. So I actually have found 39 diamonds. I found a simian. When we take a tour of the, of the main mine, I show you a little trick that I've done that will help. That I found out by accident. But anytime I go down in the mines now, I always carry a bucket of water. So that way, in case I find a lava section, I can cool it down real quick. And I'll show you a little thing I found out that I can use to actually turn the lava into a simian. So we'll go from there. I have four ovens or four furnaces and a crafting table here. Um, I use, I actually have had all four going. Um, one for ore, iron ore, one for gold. And I actually used these two because I needed a bunch of windows. And as you can see, I've used a bunch of windows to melt down the sand into glass. So. As you can see, I even have a little skylight here. This is actually a pretty big room, but as you can see, it's also nighttime and it's very well lit. So, let's take a tour of the house. Now, I finished the outside of this. I really have not finished the inside because I'm still learning more about crafting. Um, this, this is the main entrance. I'm going to do some stuff here. I haven't figured out what yet, but I'm going to end up doing some stuff here. 
Um, this will be my kitchen. I'm going to set up a, a couple furnaces, a uh, crafting table, and some storage here so we can. Um, so that way we can do some cooking and have a nice cooking area. And that way all my food would be in one location. Um, I'm calling this the groundskeeper's house because once I build the castle, that's where the king's going to live. I'm also going to have a, a kitchen in there too. Um, this is in single player mode, not on my um, server. But eventually I'll, I'm actually going to be redoing my server and do, actually doing some live broadcasts on my server so you can see what I'm creating. Um, I have an entrance out here, a little patio out here, and um, you can see I have a deck above, and I got a um, birch railing going across here, and I'm going to continue the rail going across. But this way, I don't fall and I don't kill myself because it's a, we're at um, where are we at 74, and I think this is about I think it's about. 54 so it's actually a pretty long drop um, I can clear out that area right there and do some other stuff um, right now I'm using this as my little um, farm of trees so this this I planted the trees so I mean I cleared a whole bunch of trees I'm trying to organize this a little bit better so far I've only found dark oak and birch um, the, the house the main stuff on here um, the siding and the decks and the rails are all made out of birch. Um, the logs and the uh, roof was actually made out of dark oak. So that's what I have right now. I'm um, I gotta do some more exploring, and I gotta find. I found a couple sheep. I gotta figure out how go back to where the um, sheep are and actually har bring them over here so I can start harvesting the wool. But that's the first room on the on the first floor, and it's the same way on on the second one. I mean, it's the same size room, everything's actually the same. Okay, this is going to be I call the main entertaining area. It's all open. I mean, it has four ways to get out on the wrap around porch. And as you can see, the main side, the windows go all the way up to the roof rafters. And you can see inside. But it allows a lot of light in here. And at nighttime, as you can see, it's pretty well lit. So it looks, actually, it kind of looks good, nice going outside. But the porch goes all the way around. And. I put a, had the stone columns go all the way up to make it look like it's supporting it and made it look a little bit nicer. So what do you all think? Let me know. Leave your comments down below. We'll go up to the third floor and as you can see now you can see the sun rising. Look look at this huge windows. You got the nighttime and the moon setting over there. I mean the view the view from that is spectacular and you can watch the sun coming up I mean it with this window it's nice now over here I actually have set up two bedrooms with a little loft in the area so this thing let's see this third this is actually four stories high but I kind of chopped it up a little bit inside um, I haven't I found some wool. I haven't made any beds yet, so I'm gonna make some beds over here to put it over here. And let's climb up to the loft area. I got a couple couches here, and the other loft area across there where I have one couch over there. Um, we do have some windows look so you can look out. Unfortunately, we don't have windows here because that's part of the roof. But when you come back down, you got this nice bolted ceiling. Well, you don't have a bolt ceiling here, but and you actually have some nice tall ceilings. Some more windows so you can look out and see what you what you can find. Nice um here's the vaulted ceiling. I kinda think this looks kinda neat. Second room is basically the same. 
except for the only thing I have uh, I done here is I put one couch here. It's a, tri a multicolor couch instead of this pure bitch um, birch wood. This is um, two birch wood and one dark oak. So I think this looks pretty nice myself. I kind of I kind of the way like the way it looks. So. Um, and again, let's take a look down there. There's my farm. I got six rows. Um, the only thing I found so far is seeds, so I'm just growing nothing but wheat. I have, I do have some chickens and some cows over there, so I got plenty of, plenty of stuff right there nice view over there you got a nice view over of the mountain over there and like I said it goes all the way around once I get I'm going to be building a castle again down here once I build that castle you have a beautiful view of, of the castle and I know it's going to take me a while to build this but you got a nice view of the I guess you would call that the swamp and I, I did not build that. That was actually in the game, but there's no NPC there. And I mean, I just like the way this the house is nice and built. It's got a lot of storage areas. Let's go ahead and go downstairs, and I'll show you my mind. And I'm actually going to be building a bridge. This this thing serves two purposes. Um, it's an entrance to the mine, but I mean, there's the entrance to the mine itself. But it allows me to come down to the next level. Instead of having stairs, I got the enclosed stairs. And eventually, I'm going to try to fill some of this stuff in, and go from there and see what we can. Um, fill in, level off, um, I might build a little village, I might have, try, I have yet figured out how to, um, we got horses over here, I have yet figured out how to um, tame horses, I have yet figured out how to tame pigs, so I don't have them corralled yet, um, I know how to tame cows and chickens and sheep, I just gotta try to figure out how to bring the sheep over to here. I know it's going to cost me a little bit, but I'll try to get that done. But let's take a look at the mine, and as you can see, I have my um, meter on, so you can see how we're at 71 feet right now, starting off, and we're going down pretty fast. And yes, I still got a lot of stuff I can harvest out of these mines. This is at level 20. And I still got a lot of stuff I can harvest out of here. But this actually leads me. I started a second mine. And this actually led me to my main shaft. Let's just go up these stairs. And you can see where we're at. We're actually right above the house. Believe it or not. I got a nice little stone path. Um, that's the, that's another entrance to the main shaft. But as you can see, um, I'm sorry, I lied to you. 64. We're at level 64. That was level 74. So it's a ten it's a um, 10 foot drop, which looks a lot more, or a 10 block drop, I should say, which looks a lot more deeper. Um, I actually when I built the house going around it I built the house right on the edge and when I decided to do that little design so I just did a little cliff I guess is what you can see so let's go back to the main shaft and you can see how deep I actually went and you can see a little trick that I've done to see how I actually harvest um, a Sibian Okay, as you can see, I still got a ton of stuff to harvest. 
what in these mines right now what I'm mainly trying to get is um, iron ore we're here at level 15 iron ore um, gold diamonds I've yet found any emeralds but I have found and we'll come go over here I have found a huge pocket of, of a simian. Actually, I only had two pieces here of a simian. All this was lava, and I've actually built a little trap. And I'll show you what how I set up my trap. And if I'm going to harvest, like I know there's lava underneath this osimian, so when I harvest it, that lava will be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little pond. And anytime now I go into the mine, I have at least one bucket of water. Now I got this bucket of water here. And what I do is I'll go ahead and set this up, harvest the osimian. And once that is gone, and there's any lava there, it will actually turn it less, less like that. It will actually turn it into obsidian. Get the water, and as you can see, that's a obsidian. Let me go pick up that. There we go. And that way, I don't lose the obsidian. It doesn't get burnt up by the lava. And um, I just keep doing that, and. Um, I have I will end up harvesting a lot of obsidian by using this little trick and this actually I don't know why I did that I'm at seven feet so it's okay back down into the five foot shaft um, I do have I found a little area little cave area but I haven't really found any dungeons or anything like that down underneath here of course this is single player mode and as you can see I have actually have expanded this um, this is all lava here there's another pocket of lava as you can hear and I've actually turned with that little trap I showed you I've actually have turned um, that into a simian which means I can harvest a lot of stuff oh uh, yeah I had but I found a lot a ton of coal I have found found a ton of iron And I have done a lot of things. This is where I'm working on the shaft right now. But because the lava underneath, I have to dig up and set up my little trap, and then all this other stuff. So it takes a while to do that. So this is what I've done. Um, I've been playing this now for. Um, Trying to remember. I've been playing this for about 10, 10 days total, you know, with harvesting and building the house and stuff like that. So this, I've done a lot of work. And I'm actually going to be redoing um, the one on my server. And I'm will try to be broadcasting live on that so let's just go back upstairs as you can see I have a again a large storage area I have a nice beautiful house so um, as you can see I'm learning a little bit more and more about Minecraft and um, I've been reading up I've actually 
look, been looking online on how to do stuff and stuff like that. I figured out how to build some stuff and I'm actually drawing out on a piece of paper how I'm going to lay out my castle and stuff like that and see if I can go ahead and build it, transfer it from the paper onto, um, onto the game itself. And this is, this is what I'm using right now. I figure I start fresh and I actually found, I had to go through fire series to actually find something I liked and I found this area. <laughs> Um, I've done a lot of um, landscaping and filling in here, emptying out here, and I've, I've been doing a lot of work on this thing. And hopefully, I'll be able to build a nice castle and stuff like this. So, if you like what I've done in building, let me know. If you think it was stupid, let me know. I don't really care. Um, I like it, and I hope you all liked it. If you like this video, please like us on YouTube. If you have any comments, remember I'm still new to Minecraft. So if you have any suggestions about what I need, how how I need to be playing, let me know. Leave your comments down below. Hey, I'm 50 years old. I've heard it. I've been called every name in the book. Um, so, but if you do cuss on my um, YouTube channel, it won't go on because I have kids that watch us, and I don't put up with cussing. I don't cuss you. You don't cuss me. To show me the respect like I showed you so no no cussing on this on my YouTube channel and if you haven't done yet subscribe to my channel that way you know when the latest videos I have done and do I do have a new website it's called buddy1927.com um, it has some information about me um, also has information about the games that I do play and also, once I get everything settled in my life, I will be live setting up a schedule for live streaming, and I'll be posting it there on um, my website. So check out the channel, uh, check out the website, and like thank you again for watching, and you all have a good day.